what do you think is the worst thing you experienced or, or saw or went through during those uh, 10 years? The worst experience that I saw or went through? Shit, the whole experience of just being in prison and away from your family and away from, you know, your ability to provide for your family. Right, but I mean, prison is a very violent place. Yeah, it's violent. Between violent the inmates, I've seen the, all kind of, the, I, mean, I never seen CEOs. nothing. I never seen anything sexually, um, like motherfuckers so getting no raped. No, no, nah, nah, that shit is, they be putting extras on that, man. In this damn time, there's too many brothers up in there and people that don't condone shit like that. You know, and then you got too many motherfuckers willingly giving up ass. And, right. You know, like, <laughs> if you get caught doing that shit, that's that's your ass. You know, literally, because too many men, motherfuckers don't want to see that. Motherfuckers don't want to be around that. So, you know, that's, I, violence wise, I've seen a lot of people get stabbed. Yeah. I've seen motherfuckers get killed up in there. So, right in front of you, you saw people get killed. I've seen, you know, things yeah, in I mean, the county what, jail, especially. Yeah. I mean, what is that like when you're, I mean, for a human being to be put in that level of savagery where people are, are, are getting killed in front of you, people getting stabbed in front of you, like, like that that's type of thing? That's fucking unbelievable. It's barbaric. It's yeah. like, it's, it's sad. It's so much more that can be done. Um, they could, you know, these people that have to go to prison or have to do time can benefit from, you know, in a, in a, in a real rehabilitational way. And just to throw people in cages, you know, and just say, fuck them, basically, and, you know, it's, it's terrible. Well, I guess you got your job broken at one point? I got my job broken, yeah. It's just a fight. You know, um, well, it wasn't really a fight. It was somebody dope thing. You know, they were smart. That, you know, some motherfuckers know how to get at you. Hmm. And he got at me in the most intelligent way you could. Because if I would have knew he was coming, he would have never broke my jaw. I can guarantee you that. When you said that prison hasn't taught me anything, it only tried to make me worse. Mm -hmm. That's basically the U.S. prison system for you. Well... At that time when I said that, was that with Street Gangs Media? I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, at that time, it was probably 2005, and I was, um, you know, going through a lot. So, Grantland, actually. Grant, Grantland. Grantland? That's who said that? That's why I did that uh, interview with? Maybe. maybe well, maybe at that time I thought that way, however. It was a Grantland interview. Okay. Well... At that time, yeah, it did make me worse, you know, because I wasn't, I wasn't um, receptive enough to open up myself and utilize that time to make me better, you know what I mean? So I was, I was thinking, and I was, I was bitter instead of saying, you know. And then one day, my eyes opened, I lot touched my heart, my mind, and he revealed some things to me in the spiritual and in the physical. And you know, I made the conscious decision to 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 go with them myself and learn, you know, what my purpose is truly. And and I've I've discovered that. So you became Muslim in prison? I'm not a Muslim. No. No, I'm not. I just I know who I am. Okay. And it's it's not neither here nor there as far as I don't want to speak concerning my religion. Mm -hmm. I just know who I am. You know, and that's I mean, how frustrating was it like, damn, I was about to do a movie with Denzel. I probably would have booked a whole bunch of other movies. And you're surrounded by people who don't even have, you know, even a small part of the potential mm. that you have. This is why I'm saying you're in there and it's like, yo. No, there's so many brothers and people in there that have so much potential. Some of the most intelligent, strong, and wisest men that I've met were in prison. And um, that's the truth. That's and the sad part is just they're trying to never let them out because they know the power that these people have mm. and the the effect that they can have on their community. So, yeah, it's so it's brilliance and and, and the probably the most potential is in prison. Yeah, no, some of my best friends have done substantial prison time. Mm. I, I feel you on that. Yeah.